We also know, at least in the United States, that we keep getting these predictions of increased need for lanes, for driving. And they've been wrong for 15 years. So I would ask you, when you look to build a new road or highway, um, is it a stimulus project or is it a needed project? Is there a cost benefit to putting that in, into your rail system? Now I've met with, with some of your uh, government officials and I have to say, their plans for the future are really bold and robust. I mean, for instance, building a lot of, if you need new highways underground is pretty bold, um, but it's smart. Um, so I think they're doing a lot of the right things, but people should always be asking, what is the return on investment? What is the cost benefit? And what is the opportunity cost of this project versus another, particularly when young people coming up have very little interest in driving. And when we know from prior experience that induced demand is a real thing, when you build capacity, again, within two months, you typically fill that capacity and have more congestion than you did two months before. So you're wasting money typically building capacity. And then of course, the fact that we've had situations like in San Francisco where the central artery came down. They actually, it fell down. And um, guess what? Nothing happened. They were amazed. Traffic didn't change. People find a different way to travel. So we need carrots and sticks. We gotta build more MRT, more LRT, build bike facilities, build sidewalks, and then continue the taxation on the automobiles. Hell, maybe even raise it. Um, but we need to, um, we need to really look at are we spending or are we investing in our future? I think you guys are doing a lot more of the right things here, to be honest, than I see in many U.S. cities. Um, in, in the U.S., by the way, we spend 2 to 3 percent of GDP on infrastructure. You guys spend 8 to 9 percent in Asia. Uh, so, again, kudos. And you're getting the, the payoff from it because that tight reurbanization, like in Shanghai or here in Singapore, you get a bigger return on investment. You don't have to build water pipes 100 miles out to the suburbs that you have to maintain and replace. So there's a formula that I would argue has worked for thousands of years, even when transit meant horse, horses or our own feet. Um, but it continues to work now. And I think some of the bold projects uh, that you guys are building, uh, including the whole new area, Jurong, uh, that I went and toured today was amazing. And you have some unique opportunities to get some things right that are gonna be hard to retrofit in other parts of the city.